Are you Ms. Winter? Yes. It is. Oh, wait. Where'd it go? It is me. Um, my brother made that drawing. <laughs> where I was wearing that hat and I was wearing that shirt. And then um, he made it. So I thought it was cute. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right. So I'm not going to go over this part. Um, how much time do we, we don't have much time left, so I'll kind of just go through the lesson. So the objectives are finding slope and y-intercept. So I know before we, um, stopped going to school officially, we reviewed slope. Um, but I don't know if that's something that we can refresh on, so we'll review it anyways. And then, um, find the y-intercept and how to write an equation from a graph. So in order to figure out slope, First, you have to see if it's positive, negative, undefined, or zero. So I'm not sure if you kind of remember, um, where's my little record thing? Oh, and then, hold on. Um, what is the line slope? So looking at the line slope, we're going to look at rise, overrun. And then we, but first we have to see if it's positive, negative, undefined, or zero. So if we look at this line, notice it. Up. So it's like the snowboarder going up the hill. My slope is positive, so I don't need to put negative in front of it because it's positive. And then I look at what rise. So how many units does it go up or down? It goes up or down six units. Go left or right, that's two. Ooh. So when you look at your answers for your do now, make sure you... Yeah, this one, the top one. But also be careful, though, because I put it where I think you can um, shuffle the answers. So just make sure that the one you click on is the right one, because it might be in a different order. But that's what your do now looks, and that's it. Like, there's just two questions for your do now. All right. All right. So let's look at this problem. So in order to join an online learning community, there's a $20 startup fee with a $5 monthly fee. Write an equation that models the situation. So on a lot of your tests that you, well, that we were supposed to be taking, Questions would look like this. Um, so it's what's called a y intercept or slope intercept form. So y is right there. It's equal to m. So whenever they say m, they mean slope. So start thinking about it like that. M means slope. Your b means your y intercept. And your do you know what a y intercept is? Um, left and right, I guess. Right. So the what? Left and right? So, no, the y, okay, y intercept is where it crosses the y. Oh, up and down. Well, yeah. up is y, exactly. But when you I ask what's your y intercept, it's you look at this line in blue and you say, where does it cross this line? It crosses it right here. It crosses it at this point. You see how it crosses right there? That's yeah. called your y intercept. Okay. So the first step to write an equation is you find the slope. So I'm the dot there, and then I look at where is my next little intersection right here. Those, those two points, because notice that they cross. Like notice that's at the exact like at the right on the dot. So go go go. This one's right on that dot. So then I see is it a positive, negative, zero? Um, or define slope because it's going down the hill like a snowboarder. It's negative. So I know my slope is going to be negative. How many units does it go up or down? So your rise, that's two units. Notice they put two. Negative. And then how many does it go left or right? That's three. three. That's why that's your slope. But notice they call a slope M. So anytime you see M, they mean slope to find the y-intercept. So where does it cross this line? The y-axis. So what number is this right here? Two. Positive or negative? Make sure you... Negative. Negative two. So your y-intercept is negative two. Notice they call b y-intercept. Okay. And now you plug it in. So the formula is y equals mx plus b. So all you're going to do is you're going to, instead of m, notice that your m was negative 2 th over 3. You just plug that in. Notice down here in step 3, how it just switched from m. I made it negative 2 over 3. So what do you think is going to happen to the plus b? 
It's going to be negative. Negative two. Negative two. And that's your new equation. That's how we do that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's practice ready, maybe ready. like one or two more. And then because we only have about 11 minutes, so let's practice one or two more so I can tell you what your next steps are. All right. Get this one. So again, let's do our first step. We're going to find the slope. So we look, is it positive, negative, undefined, or zero? So again, positive, undefined, positive. or zero. Good, it's positive. Oh, wait, I think we have, hold on. All right, so we're looking at this equation. So like you said earlier, it's positive. Yep. We're gonna look at some points. So notice this right here, this is where it crosses. So we can do this point. And then I'm gonna go and look for another point where it crosses right in the middle. And when I say crosses, look at these like, where there's like right in the middle. So this one. And I'm gonna look at what's my rise. So how many does it go up? One, three. Good. And how many does it go to the side? Two. Good. So my slope is gonna be three over two. Again, notice they call that M. So now cross the y-intercept. So if this is the y-axis, where does it cross? It crosses it right here. What? Did you see what that was? Wait, what? what? Yeah. So the, y, the y-intercept, so look at this arrow right here where it crosses the y. What is that? Because that's going to be your b. Uh, um, um, well, I can't point it, but is this the third one? I guess. Fourth. So it goes down one, two, three, four. So that's going to be negative four. Okay. And then. So your B is going to be, well, that's called your y-intercept, negative four, and then you plug it in. So you have y equals mx plus b. So you leave y the same. So you know that your m is, x stays the same, and you know that your b is going to be, oops, I put plus, and I didn't mean to do that yet. It's going to be negative 4. Good. Really good. And that's your equation. Okay. All right, and then let's go through, I think we have time, yeah, we have time for one more, and then we're done for today. All right. So looking at this, let's look at our slope. So is it positive, negative, undefined, or zero? It's positive. Positive, so we know there's not gonna be a negative in front of it. And then I look at my point, so this it crosses here, and then let's see where else it crosses there. How many does it go up? One and two. And then two, good. So one and, oops, that was terrible, but you get the point. So, one over two. Good. So I'm going to write it as what letter? Um, X. Not X. Remember what? It's like a random letter. M. Oh, M. Okay. Well, it's one over two. And then your y-intercept, remember that that's where it crosses. So if I look at my line, where does it cross the y-axis? And that's right here. That's where it crosses. What number is that? One. Negative one. one. So make sure. And do you remember what letter that is? B. Good. B equals negative one. And then we yeah. just plug it in. So M equals negative one over two. So, B equals. Good. Equals. Ne so we write Y. E and I just put this to remind me. Y equals. And then M, you said, was 1 over 2. X stays the same. And then your plus B becomes minus negative. 1. Good, negative 1. Good, and that's your equation. Okay? So this is some practice. Um, we're not going to have time to do it right now. Um, but this is some practice you can do. But I would just go ahead and try to do your exit ticket. And then, okay, when we look at this problem, because I did want to look at this. So in order to join an online learning community, a fee and a five dollar monthly fee. So what that means is if he has a we're gonna look at the equation we had earlier and what this means is that every month they're gonna charge you five dollars 
But starting, their startup fee is $20 once and $5 every month, right? Every month. So when you write your equation, you write Y equals, and then this is the one that changes because this means that, and this is the one that stays the same. So out of these two numbers, which one changes and which one stays the same? So the $20, does it change or does it stay the same? And I know that, confused, that question was a little confusing. It's more of like, this one is a number that's always going to keep changing or keep adding. And this is a once or it stays the same. So when we look at that, we're going to go, well, every month I'm going to pay $5. So I'm going to put five every month. So we put X. But no matter what, no matter how many months you do it, you still have to pay that startup fee, which is $20. Okay. And I know with this question, I know this is something we're going to have to kind of keep on reviewing if we keep doing equations. Um, but I do want to get to this part. All right, so what are your next steps? So after class, make sure to, well, you have a lot of the assignments to work on. Make sure you do your do now for today. Make sure you do your exit ticket. And there's a thing called a CFA 3A that I want you guys to take and the do now that I want you to do.